Well, Stanford beat ASU twice last year, but this year they come to Tempe and ASU is able to take care of business winning 26 to 10. I'm Jordan Ham for Sports 360 AZ alongside Chris Cartman of ASUDevils.com. And really it was a, a win for all facets of the game for the Sun Devils, uh, but specifically for special teams. Yeah, um, we, we knew coming into this game, given what happened last year with ASU and Stanford and Ty Montgomery being a dominant special teams player, ASU was going to have to do better in that regard, uh, given some of the some of the errors they've had earlier in the season. They had a great uh, punt that Montgomery ended up fumbling. They recovered it. They scored on that possession. Um, they All their field goals they made, except for one that was a long one by Zane Gonzalez. And they definitely won special teams. And against Stanford, that's hard to do. And that was definitely a key, key point in the game. And defensively, they, they played probably their best game of the season so far, just giving up 10 points. Um, really did a solid job, job limiting Ty Montgomery. Um, what, and, and there were some lineup changes that happened uh, prior to that. What, what sort of changes happened, and what did that uh, create for the Sun Devils? Yeah, they went with a heavier uh, defensive front. They put Mo Latu out there with Jackson Hood. Demetrius Cherry kicked him out to end. Three 300-pound guys. And then they had Longino at will. And then uh, Lyo Mokiola was healthy and played well at Spur. I think Stanford just had a hard time running the ball inside. And then uh, Hogan has been really sporadic throughout the season, and that continued tonight. They kind of became more one-dimensional. And uh, ASU didn't have the assignment errors, critical breakdowns and coverage, or any of the things that we saw earlier in the season. They really started to grow up, I think, on defense. And it was a stellar performance. Not, not expected to that, to that degree, but given the fact that Stanford's not that good on offense, it was possible, and then they, they took advantage. Uh, and Mike, Mike Bergevici had a very good game, uh, you know, really making a good campaign uh, sure. a, as he comes in as the starter. There was some talk that Taylor Kelly would play. He ended up not playing, but Bergevici uh, was very efficient with the ball and, and really took care of it. Yeah, the whole key is just not turning it over. Um, against uh, the first loss when they got throttled by UCLA, he had three, three turnovers, a fumble, two interceptions. USC, no turnovers. They win the game. Stanford, no turnovers. They win the game. Uh, he managed it well. Uh, they got some balance, which against Stanford, they had a hard time running the ball the last last year in those two losses. This year they came out early, they established some run. They got a lot of uh, short to intermediate throws that were higher percentage. And I think the balance really helped them out. And Berkovich did, did a really great job. Um, at this point, you have to give him uh, really high marks for the way that he's handled coming in for, for Kelly, who just physically wasn't quite there. I think he'll probably be ready next week. The Sun Devils uh, take care of business on all facets of, of the ball and uh, win 26 to 10. Uh, they're going to head to Washington next week. Uh, so for Sports 360 AZ, I'm Jordan Ham alongside uh, ASUDevil.com, uh, Chris Cartman.